Embarrassing moments can make you laugh, cringe, or even feel horrible for the person. Things only get worse when these moments live on forever thanks to live streaming gaming action. See physical injuries, video game pranks, and moments that players would not want to show their parents. As always, before you watch, tap subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new content. The Cat and the Christmas Tree you can't get too far on YouTube without seeing some type of cat video. The same goes for video gaming live streams. There are numerous gamers who play while their cats sleep, walk, or prowl in the background. In some cases, these felines can create embarrassing moments for the whole world to see. In one live stream, a female player was streaming around the holiday and had a nice Christmas tree set up in the background. Then the cat started getting a little crazy and actually knocked the whole tree over on the gamer. Her camera was turned off for a few minutes, but when it turned back on, you could easily see all the destruction that it caused. A similar thing happened to another gamer that is also a collector. With a whole wall of Funko Pop toys and other collectibles sitting behind her, the last thing she expected was to see her cat attempt to leap onto the shelves. Seconds later, a ton of collectibles went tumbling down and the cat darted away, leaving the mess to its owner. It's pretty safe to say that cats should be left out of your gaming room. Falling out of a chair. Playing games can be incredibly intense and exciting. When it comes to playing for real money, the excitement factor can increase even further. In Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the game has introduced a new weapon concept known as skins. Through this, players can participate in a variety of lotteries and gambling games involving digital skins, weapons, and other items. The high-risk, high-reward system can really pay off for players if they play their cards right. Of course, the moments before a big lottery are really intense, and for one player named Mistfire, it got a little too too real. Just as he put his weapons on the line, his chair completely rolled out from underneath him and pancaked him down on the floor. He obviously slammed his head extremely hard, as it took him several minutes to recover from the pain. The only good news is that he managed to win the round and got to collect all types of rewards once he was ready to start playing again. Hopefully his doctor bills aren't too high and will not cost him all of his winnings. And for those of you who love ad-free viewing and free things, we're excited to announce the Premium Network. The Premium gets you early access to videos from Screen Rant, CBR, The Gamer, and many other great channels. Literally thousands of videos in one place with an ad-free browsing experience. How sweet is that? Sign up for free by clicking this link to start binge-watching videos from your favorite channels. Popular MMOs Talking Troubles with videos published nearly every day, popular MMOs is bound to make some mistake along the way. These mistakes usually come in the form of verbal errors. As the stars of the channel Pat and Jin communicate with each other, their funny banter may also turn into some embarrassing moments. The duo decided to release a compilation of these moments in a special YouTube video. In the video, you can relive a lot of the fun games that they played and hear some of their crazy lines. This includes Jin referring to Pat as a pistachio when she meant to call him Pinocchio. There are also a lot of moments that occur with their cat Cloud and incidents happening in their home as they play and stream video together. One of the funniest moments comes when Jen fumbles with her words and proclaims that the sink is shipping when she meant to say the ship is sinking. Pat goes on to tease her about the incident and even discusses a fake sink that he ordered from Amazon. Both of them are good sports about the moments and can deliver a lot of good laughs while being self-deprecating. Fake Tech Support Getting pranked through a live stream can be humiliating. When players are naive enough to fall for these pranks, it can be cringeworthy and even hard to watch in some cases. When one gamer was dealing with virus issues, he decided to contact live support through video chat. Something obviously got screwed up with the communications because he ended up on a support line with someone who really wasn't a support person. They proceeded to act like a helpful support member and turn the whole experience into a huge disaster for the child. The fake support only gets more embarrassing as the video goes on. The experienced child pours water on a computer, places parts in a microwave to burn out the viruses, and does a ton of destruction and damage. As if completely destroying a laptop wasn't enough, the child is then instructed to load up his Xbox One. The Xbox wasn't inserted into the microwave, but all of the data and content were deleted from the console. You may start out laughing at the incident, but can end up feeling terrible by the end of this cruel prank. You can only imagine what his parents thought when they arrived home. Getting swatted on video. 
As live streaming gained popularity, players learned about all different types of ways to torment, attack, and humiliate other players that are also live streaming their experience. One of the craziest ways to do this is by swatting. Highly illegal and a huge waste of local resources, the process includes players calling authorities on another player and accusing them of having bombs, making threats, and committing all types of illegal activities. Taking the matter seriously, a crew of armed and trained police officers barge in on players and start demanding answers. This unfortunate type of incident actually happened to a gamer named Jordan, better known as Kutra, to the online community. The crazy part is this whole swatting incident was streamed online for the masses to see. It's kind of scary watching police barge in, pull Jordan away from his computer, and start demanding answers. The whole house is raided as the search for items goes underway. Jordan is cuffed, searched, and questioned for several minutes as a variety of police officers come in and out of the room. They finally realize the live stream is still taking place and shut off the camera so no additional footage is captured. Moms on live stream. For many children, their technological knowledge surpasses their parents. Parents may have no grasp of the concept of live streaming, online gaming, and streaming content to the web community. For one player, this lack of knowledge turns into a huge disaster as he gets extremely embarrassed while playing online. The player is live streaming his playing of the game Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Things are going fine until mom enters the room. She starts questioning his use of violent video games and the harsh content featured within the game. The child tries to brush it off, but an argument quickly escalates and turns embarrassing for the child. He must then explain the game, explain what he is doing, and eventually reveals that the whole experience is being live streamed. To make things worse, the kid clearly gets upset enough to start crying as his mom calls him out for having teary eyes. Not only was his live stream bombarded, but the whole experience led to the player losing badly in the Counter-Strike game. Next time, he should communicate with his mother more so she understands exactly what he's doing online and the different types of games that he's playing. The Minecon live streams. Every year, an event is held to honor and showcase the best that Minecraft has to offer. Officially known as Minecon, it is the biggest collection of Minecraft fans, YouTube personalities, and developers gathered all together to celebrate the love of the game. Along with featuring plenty of activities for live guests, there's a lot of content that gets streamed online to the masses. This also includes lengthy question and answer sessions all the fans can participate in. These questions are often hit or miss, and they typically fall into the miss category. There are those players that stumble around with words and cannot convey their question. There are the noobs that ask obvious questions and things that were covered in a basic Minecraft tutorial. Then there are people looking to make a fool of themselves by grabbing the microphone and saying something really dumb. Whether you're a Minecraft fan or not, when the Minecon comes around, you can witness a lot of embarrassing moments by getting on the live streams and seeing all the craziness that goes down. The event is held at different points and different locations every year, so it's a good idea to follow news sites to see when these live streams will pop up again. Losing $100,000 in seconds. Watching live streams is great for checking out speedruns, action-packed games, and hearing some hilarious commentary. Some players also use speedruns to showcase their gambling. Games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive give players the ability to gamble through an odds-based lottery game known as CSGO Lottery. In the game, players put up money and are randomly awarded amounts through a lottery system. While it's great to see players win and react in excitement, it can be pretty embarrassing to watch players lose thousands of dollars worth of items in just a matter of minutes. A streamer named Roachbox decided to bid a lot of his account earnings through the CSGO Diamonds dice gambling system. Skins won in the Counter-Strike game could be converted to digital diamonds that could then be gambled with in the game. Placing $5,000 bets each time, Roachbox played over and over, losing every single time. Instead of learning his lesson, he just kept clicking away, placing $5,000 bets every single time. It took less than five minutes for him to lose all that money as it quietly disappeared down the black hole of the internet. You can imagine things would be a lot different if it was physical cash he was betting, rather than just a digital number. A suspicious birthday. Live streams are a great way to celebrate with other gamers. You can cheer on anniversaries, holidays, and of course birthdays. This is exactly what Trevor from Cowchop wanted to do when he went on a live stream. Before getting into the game, Trevor wanted to call his parents and have them sing happy birthday to him over the internet. What could have been a touching moment quickly turned into an extremely awkward situation. Trevor called his parents, but they didn't recognize his voice because of the microphone he was using. They refused to believe it was him on the phone and wouldn't even say happy birthday. Eventually, they they all sang, but instead of saying happy birthday dear Trevor, his mother simply stated whoever you are. The whole thing was really awkward to watch online, especially when Trevor's streaming screen was surrounded by birthday decorations. 
Trevor's feelings were obviously hurt by the whole thing, as he hung up with his parents, wiped away some tears, and decided to get right into the game stream, rather than extending his sorrow any longer. Hopefully things got cleared up later, and Trevor got a proper birthday message from his parents. PC Problems When players are on live streams, you typically expect them to have top-notch equipment and gear that can handle all types of games. Sometimes that's not always the case. No matter how good a player is at a particular game, they can be extremely limited by the PC problems they are going through. This often becomes evident during a live stream, and games are often interrupted because of this. Some of the more embarrassing incidents have occurred on PC gaming platforms. Frozen games can occur at any time, but these incidents involve the computer as a whole running into multiple problems. In one example, a player was live streaming when his computer went through the dreaded blue screen of death. The game shut off immediately and the player was forced to restart. Later in the day, the same error happened again, causing major frustrations. Another player learned the hard way that you shouldn't ignore all those Windows update messages. His computer forced an update in the middle of a game, instantly ending his session and restarting his computer. It must have been dreadful for him to see the updating percentage slowly tick upwards, taking away from his gaming session. So, there you have it. What moment do you think was the most embarrassing? Are there any we missed? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to The Gamer on YouTube so you can stay up to date with all our awesome videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on The Gamer.